Well, how about this? We are pumped for it. CBS Miami excited about our new weekly show, Miami Life. Jim, tell us all about it. It's been so much fun. You know, <laughs> every week I catch up with the people and head to the place that makes South Florida so unique, and we know that it is a unique place for sure. Sure is. This week we tackle the controversial topic of pronouns, how different generations feel about their use. It's part of a segment we call 20, 40, 60. Three generations mm -hmm. talking about one topic. Here's some of what we discussed. There is a growing national divide around gender identity and the pronouns people use to identify themselves. Small words that have a big impact, especially for those whose gender does not align with their assigned sex at birth, like Rex Tinkler from the mentorship organization Guitars Over Guns. Uh, since you prefer to use the pronouns them and they, why are they your pronouns of choice? Yes, yeah, so they're my pronouns of choice, Jen, because they resonate the most with me. I don't really identify with she and he, I'm just not quite there. Emily Kaufman is a third year law student at the University of Miami who uses she and her pronouns. For her, the issue boils down to respect. And I think that it's important that we all respect people and their identity, who they are, and how they present themselves to the world. And I understand when I first came out, not everyone knew what my pronouns were. They might have assumed that they were he, him, and it takes time for people, especially that have known you for a long time, to relearn that. Um, but I think a lot of people are not willing to give transgender people the respect that we deserve. Gender identity is a sensitive topic many people would prefer to avoid. Someone suggested to me that uh, this show might get canceled because we're even dealing with this topic. <laughs> well, my daughter said, what's the, what's the upset, Mom? <laughs> Polls show 47% of Americans are uncomfortable with using gender-neutral pronouns. Educator and entrepreneur H. Lee Tony believes some older people are not willing to adapt to a new perspective on gender. Yeah, I totally think that that is true, that there are generational issues there. I, I, I will say, though, that I'm not one that has that particular challenge. Mm -hmm. um, my coming of age involved the time when we were seeing a lot more advocacy, a lot more awareness, and I consider myself to be an ally. Love that. Real conversation and yep. so relevant. What else are you going to discuss? Well, Joe Gorcho, of course, did a very interesting story about the Florida legislature attempting to ban social media use for kids under 16. Yeah. So we talk about that and the very entertaining, always funny Mr. Dave Barry, former Miami Herald columnist, joins us to get his spin on Miami life. And I think you'll find that very funny because he's always funny. Yeah. Jam packed mm -hmm. show. Looking yep. forward to it. When can we see it and where? Well, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you join us this every Thursday for Miami Live. We feature the newsmakers and the stories that are truly unique here. So you can catch us at 6.30 streaming on CBS News Miami on Pluto TV and the CBS Miami app. And then again at 10 p.m. on TV 33.